This is a video for all you Google TV owners out there. When I want to change the channel, I press uh, button, let's say uh, 25, right? Okay, what's channel 25? It's USA, or 26, I should say. Now, I have over 600 channels. It's hard to memorize them all. There should be an easier way, and if you have a Google TV, I suggest you get this app called Able Remote for Google TV. Uh, it's really cool as you can see. It's not as pretty as the Google TV remote, but it does have a couple of features that are really cool. For instance, uh, like I said, I want to go to a channel, right? I don't remember the number. I just press this microphone. Channel, ESPN. And as you can see, it's changing channels. Now, just in case you think I was doing some little trickery there, I'll put both my hands in front of the camera. Press it again. Channel, Fox Soccer Channel. As you can see, it goes to that channel. There are a couple of issues with the voice commands. Uh, sometimes it doesn't recognize it. Like when I say channel ABC, it says unknown channel. It thinks I said 8DC. So, you know, because of voice dictation, sometimes it's not always perfect. Uh, but it's still a cool feature to have. And when I press page up, it brings me to my guide. I can press the back button and I can press home, and there's a lot of other things that you can do that I'm gonna go through now. On the second screen, you have playback controls. From here, I can mute the volume, I can go to picture in picture if that screen supports it, go menu, channel up and down, search, etc. Right now, I'm watching on Netflix, I'm just gonna press the pause button really quick. You can see it pauses, I'll press play, I'll skip forward, all of that good stuff. You're gonna have all the playback controls right here on the second screen. And for right now, I'm going to move on to something else. On the third screen is a little uh, shortcut to some popular apps that you may visit often. You know, settings, uh, the live TV app, Twitter, Pinterest, etc. Uh, let's say uh, I want to go to YouTube. I just tap YouTube, and it goes there. Let me focus in. And then, uh, as you can see, when I move the pointer, it allows me to select what I want to watch, uh, see some trending videos. So I'm going to tap on that really quick and then it launches that video. Back to the first screen. Uh, if you have DVR programmed with your Google TV, you can just press that button and access it. I don't have a DVR, so it's no use to me. I can press uh, the TV button, and that will go to live television, uh, as you can see. Uh, whenever I have like a menu or something up, like I put guide, I press the back button to get out of there, info to get a information on this program press back again and then of course you have the volume button that I showed you before and this brings up the little channel guide as well I'll press the back button eeny meeny miny mo catch a tiger by the toe if it hollers let it go my mama told me to pick the one and you are it now you're probably wondering why I did that but if you're smart you can probably figure it out that yes if you take a photo or a picture on your phone you should be able to share it using the Android share function. You go to share, and you look for Able Remote right there. You tap on it, and then you focus in on your television because that's where you will see. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If it hollers, let it go. My mama told me to pick the one, and you are it. See how easy that was? Finally, you're sitting at home, you're minding your business, watching a, a nice day of soccer. Suddenly your phone rings and it's not next to you, but instead of reaching over to get it You just look at your TV and then you see you got an incoming call from Andrew Kamika. Do I want to answer that phone? I'll let it skip because the game's more important to me right now. Sorry, Andrew Able remote isn't a perfect app like I said It's not as appealing visually as the official Google TV app But anyone with a Logitech review or a Sony internet TV should check this out If not for just the novelty of being able to speak your commands into the phone There are other voice commands that you can give it play around with the app It's available for free in the Android market right now, but in the meantime, uh, I've got to go so channel Fox soccer channel this is Andrew from Adronica.com, and I'll talk to you guys later because I'm busy watching Fox Soccer Channel. That's not a sponsorship, by the way.